What's that? Hello. Hello, Mr. Hello. Where is it? Paolo, Cor, Italo. Hello, Jackson. Hello, Jackson. Hello, Jackson. Good evening, Osvaldo. Boa noite. Hello, you. Boa noite. Hello, hello, hello. So help me here, Eliana. As it is past midnight, is it Bon Noche or is it uh, is it Bon Dia? <laughs> Good morning, Bon Dia. That's it. I think it's Bon Dia. Thank you very much. Hi, Thorsten, Jean, Francois. Hello, 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 Thorsten. Thorsten, where is it? Tulio. Sophie. <laughs> Gabriele, Gabriele, Francisco. Who is L.U.? Lu? Eu, eu acho que é a Luciana. Será que não? Luciana? Luciana? Okay, uh, let's start our meeting. Uh, welcome to Latin America. Uh, good evening, candidates. Good evening, members, volunteers, community. Um, we will use this space to present the candidates to the Latin American community. Each candidate will have up to three minutes to present yourself and your ideas about your candidacy uh, in English. Uh, and we will have the translation to Portuguese uh, and Spanish if we need, if we need. The order of uh, uh, presentations will be the same of the list available in the community, uh, uh, in the discourse. Um, I will send the link in the chat and what I'm saying. Please pay attention to the three minutes of the talk. Um, yes, yes, Gabriele. Uh, uh, some candidates can speak uh, in English and Portuguese or Spanish. Uh, they will uh, uh, start to talk in, in uh, his own language or English. It's possible uh, without translation. Uh, yes, yes, uh, Simon, we'll be, uh, we will have translation to English and uh, to do it, I would like to invite Timothy Brennan Jr. to give some words about the process uh, as he is our translation, translator. Timothy, please. Okay, well, good evening or good morning to everyone, wherever you are. Um, for the, To save the time for each speaker, I would like to give just one or two suggestions that if you can say a complete sentence and then allow me to translate it and then continue, and I will do my best to translate as quickly as possible so you can have as much time as you need to, to be able to, to use your time as best as you can. And of course, I will reverse the process from Portuguese to English when someone has a question from Portuguese to English. Thank you. Thank you, Timothy. And if we have time uh, after the presentations for some questions from the community, um, 
we will open to questions. Uh, if not, as we have just one hour, uh, the questions can be sent to the email elections at documentfoundation.org. Okay? Uh, and the session will be recorded. Uh, to start the presentations, I would like to invite Italo to give us some words. Please, Italo. Okay, I will uh, speak English uh, as I'm tired and uh, speaking Spanish or Portuguese when I'm tired. It's, uh, it's more challenging than speaking English. Uh, so, Italo Vignoli, I'm one of the founders of the Document Foundation. I think uh, many people uh, have heard, know me directly or have heard about me. Uh, so, my, my um, uh, candidacy is, uh, uh, I want to, uh, to see the spirit of the Document Foundation back. I think uh, that we have lost uh, the the spirit of the founders, and uh, this is uh, what I would like to bring back. Uh, that's all I can say. I don't have many other words to say. Uh, people know me enough uh, to to be, to think what I will be doing uh, if I'm elected. Então o eu gostaria de falar em inglês porque agora estou cansado e português e espanhol não vou conseguir falar muito bem. Sou Italo Vignoli, sou parte da, do grupo, do, um dos fundadores e do grupo de fundadores do LibreOffice. E eu não tenho muito a falar hoje porque é muito simples e eu gostaria de um, dizer para todos que gostaria de voltar às bases, às origens como começou o LibreOffice, por isso eu tenho muito pouco a falar e basicamente seria isso. Ok. Um, ok, Italo, for you? You yeah, have? Yeah. Ok, perfect. Thank you. Uh, the next one in the list is Sophie. Sophie, please. So... Hello, everyone. Thanks, Timothy, for the translations. Um, I'm Sophie Gauthier. I'm a, a founding mem member of the Document Foundation also. Uh, in the project contributing since the beginning to the translations and some other activity in the French community. Uh, all um, I want for the foundation is written in the pledge uh, we have produced. But like Italo, uh, the most important for me is to bring back the spirit of the foundation as we founded it. And uh, also have a real vision of the future of the foundation. That's Meu nome é Sophie, também sou membro fundadora do LibreOffice e participo da, da, da comunidade francesa e participo de muitas atividades nessa comunidade e também estou aqui para voltar ao espírito original da fundação que quando foi criada e é o meu motivo de estar concorrendo também. Ok, thank you, Sophie. Uh, Jean Francois is here. Yes, I, I, I am. Oh, here. okay, thank you. Can I ask a question real quick, please? Okay, um, please, Timothy. So I can do a, a better, better job of translating. If you can say like a sentence or two, then I can translate and then continue so I won't lose any details, important details. Thank you. Okay. I am Jean-François Nifenecker. I am a long time user of uh, OpenOffice first, then LibreOffice. Uh, because of my job, it was a uh, suite of, uh, of choice by my, for my former employee, employer. I devoted uh, much uh, of my energy to 
OpenOffice than LibreOffice as a support. I um, wrote many documentations and participated and still participate and still write documentation for users of uh, the suite. Would you like to translate, uh, Timothy? Yeah, Jean-François, your last name? Nifenecker. Nifenecker. Jean-François, Jean my name is Jean-François Nifenecker. Eu yes. sou usuário há longo tempo do Open Office, no, nos tempos mais antigos e recentemente também do LibreOffice, e tenho participado de muitos eventos e ajudado muitos usuários também no uso do LibreOffice. Ok. Uh, like uh, Sophie, I support the pledge for LibreOffice uh, because just like uh, uh, Sophie and Italo, I, I am seeing the, the future of the, the, fund, the document foundation. I want it to be bright uh, again. I want it to be positive. I want, uh, the, um, I want the community to participate to its Como... actions. Como o, a Sophie e o Italo, Eu também tenho uma visão grande para o futuro do LibreOffice, uma visão positiva, uma, uma visão proativa para ver ações acontecerem no, para o futuro do LibreOffice. Ok. Yes, that's it. Uh, the, the remainder you'll find in the pledge uh, which has, has been published yet. Uh, o, era isso e o restante que você, você pode ver no pledge, na, na, como é que chama o pledge em português? É, da em mudo, Eliane? Sorry, compromisso, compromisso do LibreOffice. Compromisso, compromisso do LibreOffice, o restante está lá, eu, eu assino embaixo junto com a Sofia e o Ítalo. Ok. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, Jean Francois. And now, Jean Baptiste. Um, too much names. Uh, I, I don't see Jean Baptiste here. Um, yeah, uh, seems he's not with us. Uh, let's go ahead with Osvaldo, Osvaldo Gervasi. Please. Hi. Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, thank you uh, for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Osvaldo Gervasi and I support the pledge for LibreOffice and I have been invited by Sophie. I, I thank her uh, very much. O meu nome é Boa Noite, Boa Tarde. O meu nome é Osvaldo Gervasi. Eu também apoio o compromisso. A Sophie me convidou e eu agradeço muito a ela. Uh, I supported uh, open source and open office first and then LibreOffice uh, since many years, but I'm a member of uh, TDF and I was active uh, uh, since 2013. I have been member of the board in 2016-2017 uh, uh, and deputy uh, on 2018-2019. Uh, Eu sou um apoiador do, do Open Office, Software Livre em geral, Open Office primeiro e em seguida LibreOffice, sou membro da TDF e venho apoiando isso há muito tempo. Um, I would like to have LibreOffice free for download uh, to everyone and I, I want also uh, possibly to have uh, TDF um, may have a better life with a, a more uh, friend environment and climate. And um, uh, also I think that uh, TDF has to support the local communities in order to make them uh, uh, in charge of uh, make their, their wishes and their projects. I gostaria também de uh, levar para frente a TDF para um ambiente mais 
ah, agradável, amigável, e também com as comunidades ah, locais, apoiar mais as comunidades locais. Uh, in my work uh, activity, I am professor at the University of Perugia and uh, currently president of uh, um, a professional degree in computer science. And my uh, scope is also to um, make, uh, to, to diffuse the LibreOffice project among young people and uh, programmer in uh, computer engineering and computer science. Eu sou professor na no, no Universidade de Perugia, também sou presidente de uma atividade própria minha e também um, sou formado nas ciências de computação. It's all for, for me. Thank you. Era isso, muito obrigado. Thanks, Osvaldo. And now, in the list, the next is Mike Saunders. Uh, I don't see Mike here at the moment. Uh, also, I don't see Enio. Enio is here. Seems not. Okay. Franklin, uh, Franklin, Franklin is not here. And the next, number nine, Daniel. Hi there, my name is Daniel Rodriguez. I also support the pledge for, for LibreOffice. I live in Misiones in the North Season from Argentina. I was member from, uh, sorry, Timothy, please. Uma, boa noite, meu nome é Daniel Rodrigues, eu também apoio o compromisso do LibreOffice e moro no norte da, é da Argentina, né? É. Hum? Okay. Uh, I, I was a uh, member from the board in between 2020 and 2022, and I like to be part of the reconstruction of uh, recovering the foundation back to the roots uh to get the what i saw when i, I joined the, the community uh, eu fui membro do comitê de 2020 a 2022 e gostaria de participar novamente para levar de volta a fundação às suas raízes como era quando eu estava no comitê uh, that's it era isso Thank you, Daniel. And the next is number 10, Eliane. Hello, all. Uh, first, uh, I would like to thank you all for being here. And uh, I will do a Sue presentation in English first and after in Portuguese. So um, I support the pleasure for LibreOffice for the future of TDF. My name is Eliane Domingos. I am 15 years old and uh, I live in Brazil at Rio de Janeiro City. I am a member of TDF for 11 years. Um, I was in the board of directors in 2014 to 2016 and uh, I'm part of Brazilian LibreOffice community with great honor. Thank you community. And uh, I am presenting my candidacy for the board because uh, I believe the foundation needs change and to represent diversity of our members. Um, I would like to highlight some challenges for the next board, in my opinion, which are fix the issues raised in the audit report, return it to the tenders, and listen more the users wishes and uh, I will very happy to have the opportunity to be on board once more and serve the foundation. So now in Portuguese. É, olá pessoal, meu nome é, uh, aliás, não. Olá pessoal, primeiro quero agradecer a todos vocês que estão aqui. É, eu vou fazer a apresentação breve. É, eu apoio é o compromisso do LibreOffice para o futuro da, da fundação, 
Meu nome é Eliane Domingos, eu, sou, eu tenho 50 anos, eu vivo no Brasil, no Rio de Janeiro, sou membro da fundação da The Document Foundation por 11 anos, já fui parte do board é, em 2014 a 2016, e eu sou parte dessa comunidade que eu tenho muita honra de fazer parte dela, quero agradecer aqui. E eu estou apresentando a minha candidatura porque eu acredito que a comunidade, a fundação precisa de algumas mudanças e também representar a diversidade é, nos nossos membros. É, o que, que eu queria destacar, é, que vai ser um desafio para o próximo board, na minha opinião, é acertar as questões que foram apresentadas no relatório de auditoria, é, retornar as licitações e escutar mais os desejos dos usuários do LibreOffice, tá? E eu estou muito feliz é, de ter uma, essa oportunidade de fazer parte, talvez, do board, né? Espero que sim, mais uma vez, e servir a fundação. E é isso. And that's it. Thank you, Eliane. Next is Paulo. Hi, everybody. I'm going to try to be uh, brief. Uh, I'm Paolo Vecchi. I'm uh, Italian, but I've been uh, living in uh, uh, Luxembourg for uh, uh, more than five years. Uh, I'm currently a member of the, of the board and I support the uh, pledge for LibreOffice. Boa noite a todos. Meu nome é Paulo Vecchi. Eu sou da Itália, mas no momento eu moro no Luxemburgo e quero dizer a todos que eu apoio o compromisso. Yeah, uh, probably uh, you, well, some of you noticed me uh, uh, probably on board discuss or other, other medias uh, complaining about a few things uh, and I would like to participate also to this new uh, board to actually finish fixing a, a few of the issues that Uh, we've been slowly trying to uh, to correct, uh, especially in terms of governance. Uh, first of all, uh, bring more transparency in the whole process within within the board. Eu talvez alguns de vocês me conhecem pelas discussões de e-mail em algumas questões que eu tenho levantado que eu gostaria de ver mudado. Então, por isso que eu estou concorrendo também e gostaria de dar continuidade a algumas alterações e mudanças que eu vejo necessários no, no board. Yeah, well, for me it's going to be a great pleasure actually to work with other member, new members of the board as well, uh, supporting the various items listed also in the pledge for uh, LibreOffice and actually hopefully I'm going to finish also my next mandate being satisfied that LibreOffice, uh, sorry, TDF and LibreOffice naturally are going to be on the right track, actually, to conquer the world and grow his community. É, eu tenho muito prazer em poder ter a possibilidade de estar trabalhando com novas pessoas no comitê e espero poder estar levando o LibreOffice ou a TDF, na verdade, LibreOffice por conclusão, a de volta aos seus trilhos onde deveria estar indo. Obrigado. Thank you, Paulo. The next one is Andreas. Um, I don't see Andreas in the meeting. Uh, so the next one is Bjorn. Bjorn is here. Hello, Bjorn. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Great. So, hi, I'm Bjorn Michaelsen. Um, and uh, I'm from Germany. I'm not a founder of LibreOffice, but I'm a founder of TDF. Actually, I changed jobs for that. Uh, boa noite, meu nome é Bjorn Mikkelsen. Eu uh, sou um dos candidatos. Eu não sou um dos fundadores do LibreOffice, mas sou membro da TDF. Inclusive, já até mudei de trabalho por causa disso. And uh, yeah, I've been on the board for quite a while uh, in the past, but I hope to retire from that four years ago. Uh, but the current situation and uh, around LibreOffice uh, made me come back 
because it seemed to me that uh, the community is more concerned with itself than with producing open source productivity tools. É, eu estou há algum tempo que eu queria me retirar do, do grupo do comitê, mas eu voltei vendo a situação como ela está no momento e eu acho que a comunidade está mais preocupada consigo do que é a produção de, de ferramentas de livres e abertas. In my day job, I'm unaffiliated. I work as a team lead of uh, a software engineering team um, and uh, provide e-commerce solutions in the cloud. É, eu no dia do trabalho do dia eu sou eu trabalho como TI, na área de TI e a, faço soluções tecnológicas para a área do da nuvem. In the past, I contributed to, in LibreOffice to Writer, to Ubuntu Packaging. Actually, I've been the package maintainer for a while. I've wrote some extensions. Um, and I likely have organized more hackfests than all other candidates together. É, eu, no passado, já trabalhei muito na parte do empacotamento. Já fiz muito empacotamento no LibreOffice. E também já organizei mais hackfests do que qualquer dos membros uh, juntos. And because I think we need a clear vision for LibreOffice, um, and beyond that, I think it needs uh, a short list of priorities. I proposed uh, with others uh, a new error manifesto, which you can find uh, on board discuss, also with translations provided by others from the community. É, eu vejo que precisamos simplificar as coisas no LibreOffice, então temos uma lista menor e limitada, e você pode ver isso dentro do que eu falo, dentro da lista de discussão do, do board. And I encourage discussion and uh, questions around that, uh, like from Italo, thank you for that, uh, and I look forward to the uh, election and the next board term. Thank you. Eu encorajo a questionamento e perguntas e agradeço muito ao Ítalo que ele falou e, e espero poder ver vocês no, no, no board. Muito obrigado. Thank you, Bjorn. Now the next one, Simon, please, go ahead. Yeah, bom dia, Brazil. Uh, greetings, yeah. greetings from the European jury. Um, so my name is Simon Phipps, and I've been involved in Open Office from uh, before the day that it was announced. So uh, as I worked for Sun Microsystems, I couldn't be a founder of TDF, but I've been involved from the very first day it was okay for me to do so, and I ran the first board elections for TDF, and then went on to yeah. serve on the board. Olá a todos, meu nome é Simon Phipps, eu participo da, estou envolvido com Open Office desde muito tempo, e já trabalhei para Sun Microsystems no passado, é um dos motivos que eu não pude estar no, no, na, no board, mas um, eu já organizei a primeira eleição da, da TDF, e era isso. Your turn. Thank you. Uh, I have never been affiliated to any uh, vendor profiting from LibreOffice, and that continues to today. I am a completely independent candidate, and I'm uh, engaging in the elections because I feel and care deeply and passionately about LibreOffice and its vital role in uh, promoting and advancing uh, software libre. Uh, I am. I have never been involved or affiliated with a... Speak English. Timothy, in Portuguese. I never stopped, excuse me. I never stopped affiliated directly with a company, and that's why I can say that I can be a candidate today to take the LibreOffice back to the paths that I believe that it should be going. Uh, I th I'm... 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 Very sad indeed by the state that TDF is now in. 
and I very much want to bring my extensive experience of being a director on other boards in the open source community to address the problems that TDF faces at the moment and restore it to being a place where friends collaborate for the benefit of software livery. Eu estou muito entristecido com a situação em que LibreOffice se encontra hoje e gostaria de trazer para dentro do board a experiência que eu tenho de estar participando de outros comitês, de outros projetos e poder ajudar a levar o LibreOffice de volta ao caminho que ela estava no início. While there is much support in the pledge that other candidates are using as their platform, we will only become a united community when we have a shared vision for LibreOffice as a tool for the global liberation of every people and every language on every platform. Embora uh, concordo com tudo no, no, no compromisso, só vai ser possível levar esse compromisso para frente se todos nós temos uma visão compartilhada para poder levar o LibreOffice ao mundo todo uh, um nível global para todas as línguas e povos do mundo. So, in the event that you should elect me back to the board where I have served two previous terms, I will be seeking to uh, build the consensus around a vision for the future of LibreOffice where we do not spend money advancing the needs of corporations, but instead advance the needs of individual end users. Uh, como eu já estive no passado em dois, dois termos, no passado, eu gostaria de ter essa oportunidade de poder uh, unificar a frente para que o foco seja em as necessidades, desejos de usuários e indivíduos, e não de grandes corporações e companhias. And I present to you in the chat a link to a possible technical vision for the future of LibreOffice. We can become friends again. We can correct the fault in the foundation, but we will not succeed without a shared vision for the code. Uh, obrigado. Eu compartilho com vocês no, no chat um link para ver a visão do que eu tenho porque nós podemos, de fato, sim, resolver os problemas e podemos levar para frente, mas isso depende de termos uma visão compartilhada. Obrigado. Ok, thank you, Simon. The next is Cor. Please, Cor, go ahead. Yes. Hello, good evening, good day, good night, everyone. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here. I live in the Netherlands. Uh, and I've been uh, serving on the board now for two terms. And uh, before that, uh, being active in the membership committee for a long time. And I was uh, active uh, with the founding of LibreOffice uh, and the foundation. Boa noite a todos. Meu nome é Cor. Boa noite, boa tarde, bom dia. Meu nome é Cor. <laughs> é, e eu uh, sou membro a dois... dois uh, termos já do, do, do comitê, já fui membro do, do, uh, do comitê de membership, também de membresia, e também já participei de outras, outras uh, fui fundador também da TDF. Yeah, and I, I'm very glad to see many people here with uh, already prior experience uh, in, in the board of the foundation and in all sorts of activities. Estou muito feliz por ver muitas pessoas aqui que já tiveram experiência no, no board e de outros comitês. Yeah. And, and, and when I look at the pledge, uh, I think I can subscribe to that uh, myself also to a very large extent. E quando eu vejo o compromisso, eu acredito que eu também poderia, posso um, aceitar que dá até um, um bom ponto na, na maioria. Yeah, when when I look at that and and knowing many of the people here and how we worked in the past and with all the good ideas, I think one of the um, additional things that I would uh, like to uh, work on is is that we learn as people as community uh, to improve our relations and that we will be able to overcome any difficulties that always happen when you work together. 
E, então, eu gostaria de falar também como nós podemos pensar muito em como nós podemos unificar e trabalhar juntos uh, como um todo. Yeah. I, I think uh, respecting each other uh and and learning supporting each other to to improve relations also when uh, at times things are hard but really to overcome that i think that is one of the uh, things that uh, will help us improving uh, how we work together for the brighter future eu acredito que respeitar um ao outro e buscar uma compreensão um com o outro é a forma de resolver a, as dificuldades e os problemas que temos para podermos chegar a uma solução. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado. Thank you, Cor. Um, next is Ike. Ike is here. I don't see Ike. Seems not. Uh, no. The last one is Laszlo. 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 I, I thought I saw him in, in a minute, but yeah. I, 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 I don't see him. No, not no, no. Okay. Um, We have time for uh, questions from the community uh, and comments uh, from the candidates. Uh, I would like to ask uh, our community members here if someone has a question for the candidates. Eu uh, gostaria de perguntar agora nesse momento aos membros da nossa comunidade se alguém tem perguntas para os nossos candidatos. Nós terminamos a apresentação dos candidatos e agora nós vamos abrir para uh, abrir esse espaço, né? nós vamos até às 10 horas, uh, para comentários, para uh, perguntas. Uh, temos uma pergunta no chat. Uh, uh, please, LEO supporter, do you speak Portuguese? You, you don't have microphone, right? Can you uh, write in Portuguese your doubt? Okay, well, who is I... LEO supporter? No idea. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What's your name, please? I don't know. Uh, but he, he, he can't. He can't hear us. Also. She, she, she writes indeed. But you... he can type. Yeah, but how can she ask if she doesn't hear? Or... Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. We have two questions. Um, a question in the chat uh, and uh, a question from Jackson, I guess. Uh, I would like to start with the question uh the first one the question from the chat uh i guess from luciana uh and please timothy can you translate uh you want me to read it and translate it right yes um uh, you can uh, 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 use your own words in english for sure okay And um, after this question, we have the question from Jackson. Okay. So um, let me read here real quickly. If sorry, I would like to make a question here. Um, I think it's directed to Bjorn. You are good friends with the people who created the situation, um, putting our foundation without... Um, without um, profit, a non-profit organization in risk and in danger. Um, supporting also their ideas. Why, why would you 
and a certain person run to the council administration. Let me try to guess what is meant by that. Um, I think there is uh, there's disagreement about like uh, ideas in the past. Well, um, let, let me put it like this. Uh, the, the ideas and what I want to do with, uh, with the board and the, uh, the power in the board is very limited in, in a certain sense. Uh, you has might, been laid out in the vision. Yes, go ahead. So, uh, ele falou, uh, não, tô, não tenho certeza do que está falando exatamente, mas eu creio que pode estar falando de algo no passado, mas eu quero dizer que o board, ele é limitado no seu poder. Ok, please. Um, so uh, what I what I like to do in for the future is laid out in, in the manifesto and maybe uh, since we are talking about ideas uh, and the pledge that other candidates use uh, was mentioned uh, quite a few times I find a lot in the pledge that I agree with uh, after all it's five pages there will be always something to be to agree with in five pages actually almost, uh, well, a lot of it, uh, not every position, but uh, most of them. Um, so, é, mind yeah, if I go ahead. Yes. Uh, então, eu tenho, eu, eu tenho a minha posição clara no manifesto e também um, concordaria com muita coisa que está no compromisso que foi uh, falado pela maioria aqui. É claro que há como concordar com alguma coisa, pois tem cinco páginas, então, de alguma forma, vou estar apoiando alguma, algum dos pontos. Ok. E, talvez, como última sentença, foi um, abstractly referido a ideias. Não é como eu gostaria de discutir nesta eleição. Eu gostaria de concretamente nomear uma proposta específica e depois discutir o the advantages and disadvantages of that proposal and not talk in uh, toxic uh, levels of indirection. É, como é, eu não gostaria de ficar discutindo ideias, mas discutir ações específicas e cuidar para não ter uma discussão tóxica e neste momento. Thanks. Obrigado. Okay, uh, the question was directly for uh, Bjorn, so uh, it was answered. The next one is Jackson. Please, Jackson, go ahead. Boa noite, boa tarde, bom dia. Good morning. Uh, eu gostaria de saber uh, se a TDF pretende cobrar o que vocês acham de a PDF cobrar pelo software e também o que acham do LibreOffice ser mais para desenvolvedores e deixar a comunidade sem usar o software. Uh, ok, good evening, good morning or, or good afternoon. And um, I would like to ask, first of all, um, Jackson, me ajuda, por favor, novamente. Poderia repetir a primeira é, pergunta? Se, se a TDF, o que vocês acham da TDF, se a TDF pretende cobrar pelo software, pelos binários? Does, ok. Does the, the, the Document Foundation plan to charge for the software, for the binaries in the future? Uh, in the second place, um, about the involvement of non-programmers, I think it was, era não programadores, né? E... Sim, o, o, que, hum? o que acham de, de, dessa história do LibreOffice deixar de ser para a comunidade livre e gratuito para todos okay. e também e ficar só para o, o lado dos desenvolvedores. Okay. 
about the software being more on the side of the programmers than general users. É, e finalmente o último ponto. Yeah, okay. That was it. Okay, um, the first one to talk was Sophie. Uh, and uh, if someone wants to talk after Sophie, please uh, put your hand up. So, yes, I would like to reassure the community that uh, LibreOffice will be always free of charge and uh, download, downloadable as binary form. And um, there was a, a, a question about involvement of non-programmers. All contributions are equally valuable. Whatever the contribution, all are equals. And all members are equals in the foundations. É, gostaria de dizer que, um, em primeiro lugar, para toda a comunidade, que a LibreOffice jamais será cobrado, os binários serão mantidos disponíveis, e que outra pergunta sobre a questão dos programadores e usuários, que todos serão iguais, sejam programadores ou não programadores. Okay, next uh, in the current question is Paulo. Yeah. And okay. after Bjorn. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, so Sofia already probably uh, uh, answered in a quite complete way, but no, um, I would like to confirm that unfortunately there has been discussion or doubts uh, put somewhere about uh, uh, the fact that LibreOffice will always be free of charge uh now i would like just to confirm that the idea is uh, actually <laughs> the foundation is actually uh, that is always going to be uh, free of charge uh, você disse que a sophie uh, basicamente resumiu tudo que eu queria dizer mas eu gostaria de reiterar que o LibreOffice ela sempre foi e sempre será de graça para baixar e é a fundação é na base da fundação que nós temos isso. Yeah, and uh, just a, a last comment. Uh, yeah, one of the important thing is actually to, uh, you know, give even more value and more visibility also uh, to all the others, the other contributors. I mean, uh, we we need actually uh, to support more, you know, all the other uh, category of uh, contribution to LibreOffice because they all have uh, an equal value. So. That is one of the things that naturally we want to push. Eu queria adicionar aqui também que, um, novamente, temos que dar valor igual a todos, uh, porque existem os outras, outros membros da comunidade que estão contribuindo também, então todos serão tratados iguais. Ok, the next one... Uh... And the current question is Bjorn. Well, the answer is simple. Uh, LibreOffice is licensed under uh, a free and open source license and uh, with distributed copyright. So uh, it will always be free. And you don't even need a foundation for that. So mm. yeah. LibreOffice is under a free license libre. Então, sempre ela vai ser livre e não precisa nem sequer uma fundação para isso. Ok, uh, next comment in the current question. Osvaldo, please. Simon was first. Ah, ok, thank you. Simon, please. Ok, hi. Um, it, it is obvious that LibreOffice will carry on being free of charge and freely downloadable. Uh, it's under an open source license. 
but also TDF exists within it has in its bylaws a statement that that will be true. So anyone who has mistakenly believed that they will be charged for LibreOffice from TDF, uh, please forget that. Nobody here from any faction is proposing that you should have to pay for LibreOffice. Então, o LibreOffice, além de estar debaixo de uma licença open source ou, ou software livre, é, ele, está, ele sempre vai estar a, aberto, mas também está no manifesto ou na, no regimento interno da TDF. Então, por favor, qualquer pessoa que tiver dúvida quanto a isso, o, não haverá essa, essa cobrança de valores em cima do LibreOffice. And what has made OpenOffice and then LibreOffice after it so great is the global community of people localizing, translating, and promoting it in every country. And so that is the reason that TDF's bylaws guarantee you an equal role in the foundation. And again, anyone who has told you that you don't have that is not telling you the truth. The foundation has always been for you and will always be for you. That's all. O que, o que sempre fez OpenOffice e, e em seguida o LibreOffice um software tão maravilhoso e grande é a, a comunidade que tem traduzido e localizado o software. E novamente, todo mundo que contribui é igual e isso está dentro do, do, do regimento do, da TDF. Muito obrigado. Ok, let's go ahead, Oswaldo, please. Uh, thank you. Um, among the various uh, points highlighted by the other member of the pledge, I, I would like to uh, highlight that this experience uh, preparing uh, the candidacy was really amazing. And uh, in our group, uh, we, we, you can see a representative from all components of, uh, of the community, of the team, um etc so um this is the the most important thing uh, regarding our proposal regarding the pledge and um, we commit ourselves to make the board um, meetings in the public part available to everyone also with translation because we believe that uh, the community has to be informed uh, very uh, deeply and carefully uh, about the decision that the board will take. Obrigado. Very quickly, Osvaldo, could you give me the quick point, your first point, please, because I, I missed that one. No, I, I was highlighting that uh, it has been a great experience. And uh, in our group, in the pledge uh, for LibreOffice group, there are uh, members of uh, all the main components of uh, TDF. OK, thank you. Muito bom é, poder falar que é bom ter experiência, tá fazendo parte do, 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 do comitê e que com, uh, do, com o compromisso também. E infelizmente eu perdi uma parte porque foi bastante informação aqui. Então, uh, I've, uh, your second point, sorry, because it was a lot of information. Can you repeat your second point, please? Yeah, at the end, I said that uh, our we commit ourselves in order to make the decision of the board, the, the public part of the meeting available to the community, also with translation, so that they can understand clearly what uh, the board is deciding and which is the road that they are um, making with this decision. Okay, thank you. Uh, ele então estava falando que é um que se compromete a fazer os, as reuniões do, do board mais uh, disponíveis e mais abertos com traduções e para que a comunidade toda possa participar mais. Thanks. Uh, now, please, Tulio, your comment or question. Pergunta. É, a gente está acompanhando já há bastante tempo essa, essas uh, discussões nas listas, né? E muita gente falando dentro e fora do board, né? 
e como é que vocês imaginam lidar com essas diferenças de opinião entre futuros membros do board? Uh, we have been following the discussion list for quite some time, and some of the members that are part of the board, but also members that are not part of the board. So my question is, how do you, my question is, how do you plan on um, managing the differences of opinion within the, the board? Come on, folks. Sophie uh, and uh, okay, uh, Bjorn. Bjorn, yes. Okay, Sophie and Bjorn. And, and Italo. Italo. Okay, thank you. Sophie, please. So I think uh, listening to everyone, we are very div diverse. We are uh, different people, different culture, but we are, we have been always able to work together as a community. And I don't see why it should be different in the board. I don't uh, want... Sorry, do you mind I translate? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, então, nós somos muitos povos e muitos povos, muitas culturas e diferenças já faz parte de quem nós somos. Então, não creio que diferenças deveria ser um problema no board. We are sick to death about the fighting going on, uh, um, preventing the foundation to move and the board to have a vision to apply to uh, the foundation and to to make it move forward, we Estamos... really want to go on, and that that's all on my side. Estamos extremamente cansados com a forma que as coisas estão indo e queremos ver uh, 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 também pela falta de a visão e de comunicação e gostaríamos muito de ver as coisas ir para frente. Ok, Bjorn, please. So, from previous experience on the board, um, I can first say it really depends on the personalities. So it depends on who gets elected in the end. That's the first part. Na primeira parte é que sendo membro do, do board depende muito da personalidade da pessoa e quem for eleito. And then strictly on a tactical level or on the level of how how to collaborate even with disagreement. Um, there are two things to consider. The first one is you have to to uh, agree on the decision and not on the reasons. Uh, então, no nível prático, para ver uh, como que vai funcionar, você tem que ter, entender dois pontos. O primeiro é que tem que concordar com a decisão e não as razões da decisão. That means um... If, um, if, if a decision is made and a board proposal with a wording, um, it's just about the wording. It's not what every individual uh, board member thinks or why they do vote this way or the other. It's é, just quando, the vote in the end. Quando for feito uma decisão, o, a decisão tem que ser visto a, as palavras e não o que cada indivíduo acredita que o motivo seja por trás da decisão. And the second point is uh, disagree and commit, uh, which uh, just means that if a decision is made, even if you didn't if you didn't vote for it, you still have to support it as as the entity. The board is one entity, so um, uh, that needs should then happen you need to go forward with uh, with the foundation as a whole 
uh, segundo ponto é você discordar, mas manter o compromisso é, quando for feita uma decisão cujo indivíduo não concorda, mesmo assim, apoiar, porque o, o board é uma organização unificada, tem que manter assim. Uh, well, thanks. <laughs> ah, tá, muito obrigado. Ok, uh, now, Italo, please, go ahead. So, uh, my opinion is that the... Uh, it should be uh, clear that the board uh, has the uh, task of reaching a consensus uh, before taking any decision, which uh, is something that didn't happen uh, during uh, at least the last couple of years. And, uh, uh, and of course, uh, uh, when one uh, consensus has been reached, then uh, uh, it will be easy for all the members to, to stick to their decision. Uh, minha, uh, minha, o que eu gostaria de dizer é que um comitê deve chegar primeiro no consenso, consenso antes de chegar a tomar uma decisão e depois que isso for feito, é muito mais fácil para um, o, o board manter essa decisão unificada. Uh, and I think that uh, it's uh, in some cases uh, in the past couple of years I've seen uh, um, decisions that have been uh, discussed uh, too much uh because there was no consensus and uh, mm, in some cases there have been uh, discussions that should have not happened at all in a board i i i ex i've already expressed my uh strong disappointment uh with the with the board uh, uh and uh, this is one of the reason why i decided to run Uh, é. And I hope that consensus uh, will be the the main objective for the board, uh, of course, uh, in uh, leading the foundation. Então, é por ca por causa de não haver certo consenso nas decisões, ficou evidente nas discussões, nas listas de discussões que um, houve discussões que não deveriam estar acontecendo num board, portanto, eu decidi entrar para poder contribuir para melhorar essa situação, e seria isso. Um, I, uh, ok, uh, Eliane, uh, did you, do you want to talk? Uh, I, I... Don't see your hand. Yes, okay. Um, Sorry, it's just a comment, okay? Okay, uh, I, I'll follow the, the order, the, the current oh. order in the chat, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, after Italo, so Cor, please. Yeah, yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, I, I fully... Uh, agree with Italo that it's disappointing that uh, during the board, the last board term, reaching consensus was, uh, well, mostly impossible. Uh, on, on, the, on the positive side, it's, it's clear that if, if you look, for example, at the strategic goals that we have been discussing and that the community has voted for when we met in Milan, uh, there, there was a bright area Uh, of, of things of, of uh, um, more uh, support for education at universities, uh, more support for local communities, different languages, uh, and, and the stuff that we started working on, but sadly it didn't have enough time for yet. Timothy, maybe? Okay. Um, eu concordo com o Ítalo de que realmente é infeliz a situação de discussão que tem acontecido no board, 
mas também gostaria de falar das, das coisas positivas que aconteceram, uh, por exemplo, em, em Milão e outros outros eventos que tivemos, onde foi uh, uh, levado o LibreOffice para universidades e também trabalhos de tradução e localização tem expandido bastante nessa área. I don't speak Portuguese, but first my compliments for the translations, because I hear you don't miss anything. Wonderful. Um, you, you might translate it. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yes. uh, and, and so there, there is, there's a broad area of things that, that we realized and that we worked on. Uh, and, and I hope we can continue working on that. Tem um, uma, uma gama ampla de coisas no qual trabalhamos e gostaríamos de continuar trabalhando nesses assuntos. Ok, now, after core, Paulo. Yes, uh, well, I have a slightly different view in certain things. I, well, fully agree so, with Italo uh, that it would be good uh, you know to reach consensus on uh, on various things and naturally if you have a, a so uh, a person like Italo I think everything everything else is going to be uh, probably a lot easier uh, the situation where instead uh, uh, you know there are uh, board members that perceive potential risks when certain decisions are being taken and uh, uh, these are actually to uh, share that with the with the community they should be allowed to do that because let's say that we have past experience showing that you know uh decision should be uh, uh taken uh, uh also based on evidence and and and, and facts and if the, there are real doubts then uh, naturally the trustee should be made aware of the uh, of the issue and then uh, actually see if the direction that the board is taking is right or not então, eu, eu tenho uma visão um pouco diferente, eu concordo plenamente com o Ítalo, que deve haver um consenso, e também deve haver uma liberdade de poder compartilhar quando algum membro do, do board considera que há algum risco aqui numa decisão tomada, para que a, também a comunidade possa estar mais envolvida na, no processo todo. Uh, eu esqueci alguma coisa aí, Gustavo, Eliane? Eu acho que não. Tá. Ok. Uh, ok. Uh, so, uh, just to uh, also keep in mind, uh, as a board of director, naturally, uh, there are responsibilities, naturally, that we have to take, and there are potentially also liabilities. So, I think it's right that if a director sees some risks, that actually allows the trustee to, uh, to, be, a, to, to be, a, be aware of it. Como membro do, do board, tem ah, contribuições positivas e também existem riscos que serão assumidos e, tam, e creio que todos devem estar por dentro desses riscos para poder a ah, decisão ser clara para todos. Yeah, so I'm just saying, uh, uh, just accept uh, a board decision in certain circumstances, uh, I believe, is not acceptable. Quer é dizer que devemos aceitar a decisão do de um board em algumas circunstâncias não é aceitável. Thanks. Obrigado. Um, just to inform you that um, this is the last question of the meeting, ok? Uh, because Rafael uh, left the meeting and ping me uh, directly and he will send his question to the membership committee uh, and uh, I would like to suggest that his question could be the first one in the next meeting okay uh, we uh, inside the membership committee will handle this question yeah perfectly perfectly it's too late for us for for uh, also for us <laughs> but for you it's really too late So, uh, to continue, um, now we have um, Eliane, I, I'm right? Yes, it, yes it, thank, please uh, go ahead. The comment uh, first in English and after in Portuguese. Uh, 
Well, uh, we need to focus on the good things we can do for the project and the community. Everyone has a specific skills we need to source. Everyone can bring in their talent and shine. We can all can learn and grow together. We want open interaction with the community and take decisions together. Now in Portuguese. Precisamos nos concentrar nas coisas boas que podemos fazer para o projeto e para a comunidade. Todo mundo tem habilidades específicas que precisamos adquirir. Todos podem trazer seu talento e brilhar. Todos nós podemos crescer é, e aprender juntos. Queremos uma interação aberta com a comunidade e tomar as decisões juntos. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Ok, uh, next is, uh, let me check, Simon, please. Thank you, Gustavo. Uh, so thank you for the question, Tulio. Um, I think it's the key question for the next board. I have been uh, very, very dismayed by the behavior of the previous board, uh, in particular, in failing to respect the decisions that it had already made and continually reopening them. And I think the path to the future involves, as Italo says, reaching consensus before taking decisions and then taking decisions and committing to them and not constantly reopening them if you were the one or two people who didn't agree with the decision. Uh muito obrigado, Túlio. Sua pergunta foi muito importante e eu acho que é a pergunta central. Eu tenho ficado muito consternado com a maneira que as coisas têm acontecido e eu falo que o que o Ítalo falou é verdade, devemos chegar num consenso e depois desse consenso tomar uma decisão para que não aconteça as discussões que estão constantemente se abrindo. Uh, I think this is why the board needs to have some experienced independent directors uh, to help uh, follow the rules about how boards behave. And uh, I think that will be the biggest contribution to solving the problem so we can move on and focus instead on LibreOffice rather than on disagreeing. Uh, eu acho que é por isso que nós precisamos ter Uh, membros uh, experientes no, no board para que uh, possamos estar tocando as reuniões da maneira que devem ser tocadas para frente e não está, está focando no LibreOffice, não tanto em resolvendo problemas constantemente. Cor, please. Cor. Yes, thanks. Uh, very brief. Um... I think uh, how we are discussing here is, is, a, is a very good example of, of listening and respectfully listening and, and in that way working together. And, and I, let's, let me say that this is a very good example. I support it. Um, um rápido resumo, eu acho que eu, eu posso dizer que eu concordo com o que tem sido falado, que aqui é um momento, como, um bom exemplo de como ouvir e respeitosamente ouvir um ao outro e poder aprender um com o outro. Obrigado. Ok, thank you, Cor. Sophie, the last one in this meeting, please. So, um, as a last word for the, the community, uh, nobody should be fear to speak out. Um, as a, as a board, and if we are elected, we serve the community and should be open to be challenged by those we serve. Um, but the board should be challenged by those we serve. And everybody, everybody should be able to speak, ask questions, ask results, as for where we stand, where we are, where uh, where are the difficulties and where we risk anything, 
we have to take some risk as board members, but the community should be aware of them and be part of those risks we take all together. And that's it. Thanks it to all. Key. Thanks for the, the meeting. It was great. And thanks, Timothy. Well, eu acho que ninguém deveria ter medo de se expressar, de todos do, da comunidade deveriam se expressar e criticar o board que está aqui para servir a comunidade. E então, com isso, eu acho que ninguém deve ter medo de poder se expressar e questionar as decisões. As decisões de um board vai ter seus riscos, mas todos devem ter essa liberdade de questionar. Muito obrigado. Ok, um, it's late for all of us, and uh, in behalf of the membership committee, I want to thank everyone, thank for the candidates, thank Timothy. Muito obrigado, muito obrigado. You're Valeu. welcome. Ah. Wonderful Thanks grand. to all of you. Thanks, Thanks. so much. Thanks, Thanks so much. Great. Thank you. And the next session, you know, uh, Marina put the message in the chat and in the discourse. Thank you. I'm really proud of you. And I, I, I know you, your feelings uh, are the same. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good, 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank Good you for moderation and uh, translation. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Timothy, obrigada. Muito obrigado, Timothy. Muito Parabéns. bom. Muito bom, Desafio, Timothy. Valeu, Timothy. Obrigado, obrigado. Obrigado, Stefan, obrigado. Some words mm -hmm. from you, please. Bye. Do you want to talk, Stefan?